Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 has given rise to a lot of conversation around a plane's black box and how crucial it is to determining the cause of a plane crash. Well, surprisingly, the voice and flight data recording technology hasn't been upgraded in almost a decade. And as Tobias Rivak tells us, a simple upgrade could make finding a fallen aircraft much easier. The black box plays a crucial role in determining the cause of any aviation accident. First, let's debunk a few myths. It's orange, not black. It isn't a box, and there are two of them. One records flight data, and the other, cockpit audio. Flight data recorders originally were black painted boxes, but in 1965, they were required to be painted bright orange to make them easier to find at a crash scene. Black boxes are designed to survive massive impacts, piercing, explosions, fires, and deep sea submersion up to 30 days, and are placed in the plane's tail section, where they're least likely to suffer damage. On them is a wealth of data. Recording everything from altitude, airspeed, vertical acceleration to flight control, the flight data recorder also measures autopilot engagement. And on the cockpit voice recorders, audio is recorded on a loop for up to two hours before it's erased. Under normal circumstances, the data is used for maintenance post-flight, but none of that information is transmitted down to the ground during the flight. Now there are other systems on board which do give signals during a flight, but in the event of a plane crash, only the box gives off an SOS signal by a tracking beacon so the aircraft can be located. It pings every second for 30 days and can transmit sound as deep as 14,000 feet below water, which can be detected by both sonar. Anything over 30 days would lead to a long-term situation not unlike the Air France 447 case, where debris was found six days after the crash, but the black box recovered two years later. In that case, the black box was found over 13,000 feet below. In today's fast-paced world of technology, why have there been no significant upgrades to the black box since 1995? It is, in fact, possible to uh, have a constant uh, or a a repetitive download of the black box information and the cockpit voice um, uh, recordings live, as it were, uh, to the ground as the aircraft is flying. Uh, so you would not then have the issue of trying to find the black box. Uh, the issue is that, you know, if every aircraft in the world, there's thousands of aircraft flying all the time, are pumping out this data in a constant way, you're talking about a huge amount of data. I really don't see why there should be any problem in getting this moving and starting to do something and, and at least getting some basic data streamed to the ground from aircraft uh, live. Or if not live, then, you know, every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, something like that. Many aviation experts say that black box technology has stayed the same because there's no incentive for innovation. And installing new live data systems would incur higher costs for airlines. Over 26 countries are now involved in the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, and whether if by land or at sea, the black box remains the key to solving the mystery behind the plane's disappearance.